let's talk about how you assign easel activities. So here we are. This is just a test activity that I'm going to use to show you. You can see there's only two slides here. So all you have to do is come up to the blue button that says assign and go ahead and assign it. Just click that and you're going to get to this um, pop-up window. If you have a learning management system like Schoology, you can copy that link and send that to them directly. But I'm going to show you how you do it on Google Classroom. So you just click the Google Classroom icon. You come up here, click your class, go to choose an action, say create an assignment, and say go. You know you have to give it a title. I'm just going to call this test. You can put instructions if you like. Um, or not. I don't because my kids can't read, so that's not helpful. And then all you have to do is come up and click assign. There's no telling um, Google to make a, a copy for everyone because the link is going to be individualized. So here's the link right here, and we just say assign. You can view it here, and here it is. Here's my test. So now let's see what it's like from a student's perspective Out of my own Gmail and I've logged into my test um, student. Now I'm going to go to the Google Classroom as a student and here's the assignment. So I click on that and you're going to see here's that easel link right there. So all they need to do is click that link and it will bring them to the activity. So they're going to come to this page and they need to sign in with Google. They sign in just like they would with Google Classroom and then they enter. Don't worry about that access code. That's how the reports are keeping track of who's who, but we don't need to worry about that. So they enter and here's the activity. So they're going to go ahead and create, finish the activity. They click on the next page down here to move on and then they just continue and then when they're done they say turn in want to see something really cool i'm going to go back a minute on the first page if they go ahead and turn in it tells them that they're not done yet so um, i kind of like that but anyway so they move through and they finish all the slides and they turn it in yes turn in and they get a little celebration that they turned it in now let's see what it's like for you to see what they did back into your account and here is that activity that we um, assigned and you can see one student has turned it in this is my test student so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to see ron that's actually my husband but you can come over here and you can review and it shows you what the student has done. So you can see, did they get it correct? Did they finish all their work? And if you want to put um, some feedback, you can write here. Great job, Ron. And you can just go ahead and return that to the student. Yep, we're returning that. So you've been able to see that they did it. They turned it in and you return, you've return. you returned it. So you'll be able to see who's, who's finished it, whether you've corrected it or looked at it. And that is how you can use Easel using Google Classroom. So I hope this has been helpful. Please reach out with any questions and I'll be happy to help you.